Let us quickly discuss another problem. Amal and Vimal entered into a joint venture. They opened a joint bank account by contributing 2 lakh each. The expenses incurred on the venture is also 2 lakh. Once the work is completed, contract money received by check is 4 lakh. This is receipt of contract money, 4 lakh and in shares, 50,000. The shares are sold for 40,000. Compute the profit on joint venture. We could prepare a joint venture account, but I will quickly go through the accounting entries so that once we understand the entries, it is then very easy later to prepare ledger account straight away or to ascertain profit straight away even without the help of journal entries or accounts. But what would be the entry? In order to open a joint bank account, the entry would be joint bank account debit to A and to B, Amal and Bimal, apparently it's 2 lakh each. So joint bank account debit 4 lakh to Amal 2 lakh to Bimal 2 lakh. Next, expenses were 2 lakh. Therefore, entry for expenses, joint venture account debit to joint bank. Amount is 2 lakh. Next, the contract money is received by check 4 lakh and shares 50,000. Receipt of contract money, joint bank account debit. The amount is 4 lakh and shares of company account debit amount is 50,000 was the worth of the shares. So 4 lakh 50,000 is the contract value to joint venture is 4 lakh 50,000. The value at which we receive the shares is what? is recorded at. So we have joint bank account debit, shares of company account debit 50,000 and the joint venture 4 lakh 50,000. From this we can ascertain the profit of joint venture but there is one more small thing. The shares were sold for 40,000 which means which means that there was a loss of 10,000. What would be the entry for this? If the shares are sold assuming that the money is deposited into the joint bank the entry would be joint bank account debit, let's say 40,000. Joint bank account debit 40,000. Two shares of company, to shares of company, what is the value of these shares is actually 50,000. Therefore, the difference would be debited to joint venture account debit 10,000. So the entry is joint bank account debit 40,000, joint venture account debit 10,000 to shares of company 50,000. Now we get the profit on joint venture. What is the profit? Joint venture has been debited with 2 lakh and it has been debited with 10,000. So that's 2 lakh 10,000 is the expense or loss, expense and loss and there is a gain of or income of 4,50,000. So 4,50,000 minus 2,10,000 giving us 2,40,000 being the profit. A quick look at the accounts. I hope the accounting entries are very clear. Money deposited into bank, joint bank account debit to Amal to Bimal. Expenses, joint venture account debit to joint bank. For receipt of compensation, joint bank account debit 4 lakh and shares debit 50,000 to joint venture. On sale of shares, we incur a loss. Joint bank account debit 40,000. Joint venture account debit loss on issue of shares 10,000 to shares of the company 50,000. This gives us a profit of 2,40,000 on joint venture which would be given to Amal and Kamal. 
Amal and Vimal, the entry being joint venture account debit to Amal to Vimal, you break up to like 40,000 in the profit sharing ratio. A quick look at the accounts. Accounts would be like this. Joint bank account, 2 lakh and 2 lakh capital contribution. Amal's account, Vimal's account. Again, money received, contract price received, 4 lakh was received. This is on sale of shares. 40,000. These were the receipts into the joint bank. And this is the expenses and this seems to be the final settlement which is got as a balancing figure. We know how much is to be paid to Amal, how much is to be paid to Bimal from the, from the balance in the co-venturer's account. The joint venture like we discussed, the profit of 240000 Expenses were 2 lakh, share loss was 10,000, joint bank contract price we received 4 lakh and 50,000, 2 lakh 40, assuming its equal sharing ratio 1 lakh 20 and 1 lakh 20. What would the shares account look like? Shares company account, we received 50,000 worth of shares, we sold it for 40,000 and had a loss of 10,000 transfer to joint venture account. That's how the shares account was closed. Co-venturer's account finally, 2 lakh, 2 lakh, share of profit 120 and therefore 320 is the balancing figure which when we take to the joint bank account, this is not actually expenses, this is actually the final, final settlement.